Summer is right around the corner and during this time only lot of people keep looking to buy brand new AC for their home. And if you people are also looking for the same, you guys came to the right video. Today we have a brand new AC in the house and I've been getting a lot of comments in my recent videos guys like Vimal bhai can you suggest us some good ACs with decent specs and features at an affordable price and that is what I'll be doing in this video guys. We have a new model from Hisense. It's their all new cooling expert series just launched recently in the Indian market and actually offers like pretty decent specs and features guys. It's available in different configurations. You get from one ton to all the way up to two ton in different star configurations. Today we have a 1.5 ton, five in one convertible, three star rated uh, inverter split AC guys, and you know packs some pretty interesting features. First of all, as I've told you, it's five in one convertible, has 1.5 ton rated, and also has like 100% copper condenser coil. R32 eco-friendly gas is also there, and guess what? It's also blue fin anti-corrosive coated. So pretty much packs everything that you might be looking for on paper so this is what we'll be checking out guys in this video so i just took the delivery ride probably installation will happen tomorrow and i'll be using this ac for like the next couple of days and then i'll be back to continue the video and share my experience with this model so guys, I'm back to continue the video. It's been almost like five to six days. We got this AC installed at my place and I've been using it every day since then. And now I'll be sharing my complete experience and feedback on this model, guys. There are so many things I'll be talking about. So make sure to watch this video till the end in case if you're planning to buy this model. First of all, let me tell you about the installation part. Installation happened very smoothly. Uh, within one to two days only, the service team came to my place and got the AC installed. And it hardly took around like one and a half to two hours, at least for my place, because because the outdoor unit was exactly installed behind the AC only in our balcony. Now, so the installation procedure can be a bit different for you depending on your location and your area because some people usually install outdoor units on the terrace. Na. There you'll have to go for like extra copper tubings and extra story. So installation time may vary. For me, it was like very easy. I'll definitely show you the outdoor unit also in a moment. Now coming back to the topic. Na. So installation ke liye I had to pay extra guys. So these service technicians charged me around like 800 rupees uh, for the wall mounting bracket of the outdoor unit and around 700 rupees for the installation apart from this if you go for like a core drilling for the ac in hyderabad though they are usually charging around like thousand rupees and i'm not sure about the charges in your area you guys only let me know in the comment section so totally you'll have to spend around like 2500 rupees guys now this is like common for any sort of ac or model you go for minimum charges to look there Anyways, coming back to our Ryzen's AC guys, as I've told you, this is their cooling expert series and ours is a 1.5 ton, 5-in-1 convertible, 3-star inverter split AC. First of all, let me tell you about the design and the looks as well. Very minimalistic looking design guys, nothing fancy over here, pure white sort of design. You just have the Hisense logo at the center and says cooling expert to the left and has a 3-star rated sticker to the right. There is nothing on the front panel except a tiny LED display at the center which shows you the current mode or maybe like the temperature. And you can even toggle it off using the remote. That option is also there. But one thing that I've noticed as soon as we unbox the AC is the size of this AC guys, despite being like a 1.5 ton AC, na, it's actually a bit very compact, I would say, uh, because I have like 1.5 ton other ACs also in my other bedrooms and they're actually a bit bigger in size compared to that. This is like very compact. So one benefit is a lot of people have like very less space on the wall, right? So there, if those sort of big ACs are not fitting, you can definitely go for this compact sort of AC from Hisense. Here is our outdoor unit guys, got it installed in our balcony only and insulation went very smoothly because it's exactly opposite to the indoor unit on the inside. And one thing you can actually observe over here is look at the whole shelter. We have a nice shelter for the outdoor unit and there is no way sunlight will actually fall on this thing. A lot of people usually leave these outdoor units directly exposed in sunlight and that will definitely impact the performance and overall durability in long run. So make sure try to find like a good spot around your place and you know try to get it installed something like this. this will definitely improve the overall performance of your AC. Alright, wait a second, I haven't showed you the remote control. Na? So this is how the remote control of the AC looks like. Very simple sort of remote. You have the Hisense branding, couple of options are available over here and also has like a tiny LCD display that shows you the current status, temperature and maybe whatever different mode that you set to. So let me tell you about the different AC modes available on this particular model. This is their cooling expert series as I've told you and offers like three different modes. First one is your regular AC mode. Second is you get a dry mode for 
for like humid sort of environment. Third is you also have like an auto clean function. Auto clean function we'll talk about that at a later part in the video. Apart from that you can easily adjust the AC temperature also current room temperature that you want to set to you can go up to like 16 degrees that is like pretty much the same in almost all the ACs and apart from that you do have like a timer mode available you can even toggle that display the LED display also on or off depending on your requirement and yes you can adjust the fan speed also in three different steps and also has like a special turbo mode and a silent mode option is also available now one more interesting question I keep getting is a lot of people say Vimal bhai I have a four in one convertible AC this particular one is like five in one convertible matlab ye convertible hota kya hai? what does it mean actually a lot of people don't know so let me tell you about that so basically now five in one convertible matlab you can adjust the power rating of this AC this is a 1.5 ton AC na? so you can adjust the power level from 50 percent to 110 percent and you can adjust this depending on the use case scenario for example there are like little kids in your room who's using the AC there you don't need to use 100 percent of the AC na? there you can set it to like 50 or 60 percent uh, in convertible mode and that's it it'll get your job done so if you have like two adults say then you can switch it to like 75 percent more or maybe in your room there are like a lot of people like four or five people are there there you can set it to like max 110 percent and that is how you can use this AC so it basically has like five different power level modes from 50 percent to 110 percent that is why it is called as five in one convertible AC Okay, before I actually share you my practical experience and performance of this particular AC, let me quickly tell you the specs. Basically, this cooling expert from Hisense packs everything that you would look for on paper. It has like 100% copper coil tubing in both the indoor and outdoor unit and having copper coil innards na, definitely improves the overall durability and longevity of the AC guys. And apart from that, the outdoor unit also has like hairpin coating and blue fin, durable fins are also available. So that adds like anti-corrosive property, rust-free uh, fins are available. So that also definitely helps during the overall durability of the parts. And yes, you're also getting like R32 eco-friendly gas. So it's basically like eco-friendly guys. And almost all ACs nowadays now in the recent years are coming with these sort of features only. So it, you know, contributes and helps with a little bit of less global warming solution these days. And so that is pretty much it. But apart from that, one more interesting feature I found on this particular model is you're also having like a built-in health filter also. It has like a PM 2.5 air filter inside. And and basically purifies any sort of pollutants in your room maybe like if you have like allergens or pollen snipe, it'll definitely clean that and automatically keep like a fresh and odor free uh, ambience in your room now one more common question i keep getting is vimal bhai what exactly is the difference between a three star and a five star rated ac now i'm pretty sure everybody knows right these star ratings are given based on the energy efficiency of that appliance so a five star rated ac is practically around like 25 26 percent more energy efficient than a three star rated ac so definitely you will have like less power bill on a five star rated ac but equivalently price of five star rated ac is also like pretty expensive guys so a five star rated ac roughly costs around like 45,000 rupees whereas this 3 star rated AC costs around like 30 to 33,000 rupees so if you're a bit tight on a budget and you don't want to spend such huge amount on an AC you can go for these sort of 3 star rated AC but on the long run 5 star ACs definitely uh, give you like less power bill compared to this particular model that is the only difference guys but apart from that cooling performance rando build quality rando all of these are like pretty much good only on this particular model also Okay, now let's talk about the performance and let me share my practical experience with this model. It's a 1.5 ton AC from the brand and it is usually designed for like rooms of up to 180 square feet. Ours is like a 140 square feet area bedroom guys and basically I've converted into like a gaming room and this is where I usually play games or maybe like watch movies on my TV. So for this sort of room now, this is like more than enough. Performance is actually pretty good during my usage. I've used it for like non-stop for the last five to six nights and I was like pretty pleased with the experience over here. It has a quick chill feature that uses Hisense QSD technology with an intelligent inverter compressor and offers like a quick and effective cooling solution for any sort of environment, usually like hot or humid environment also now it does a pretty good job. And if you ask about the airflow and the throw, airflow is pretty nice, even the throw was like pretty long guys, easily throws up to like 10 meters range, even if I was standing at the opposite corner of my room also I was getting airflow pretty nicely and overall performance was pretty decent. But one thing I've observed is this particular model is like a budget sort of AC right so you're only getting like automatic vertical swing on it there is no automatic left and right horizontal swing available only as like manual fins on it and you'll only manually need to adjust that depending on your position in your room so that is something you'll have to keep in mind 
but apart from that now overall chilling performance cooling performance everything was like pretty fine and within few minutes only my entire room was getting chilled and you know i was like pretty satisfied with the overall experience you might ask about the fan noise levels and fan noise levels were like acceptable just like any other ac it actually depends on the fan setting you have three different fan settings fan speeds low medium and high if you set it to low obviously fan noise will be a bit less as of now but if you set it to high you can definitely hear the fan noise it was around like 43 45 db of fan fan noise i was getting but apart from that you do have a quiet mode as well so some people usually prefer having like no sound during nights now there you can set it to like quiet mode and one more thing i forgot to mention is this ac also has like a auto clean function in it which you can easily access using the mode button on the remote and you can use this feature like once in every few months and the ac will automatically clean any sort of accumulated dust in the fan blades or maybe interiors of the indoor unit and you know keep the ac clean and odor free and also good thing is you don't need like a dedicated stabilizer for this ac it has like a stabilizer free operation and has like a wide voltage range from 140 to 290 volt so even if you have like a power fluctuations or voltage fluctuations in your area nothing to worry about well that's it my review on this cooling expert series ac from hisense it's a pretty good overall ac guys good performance is there and good features as well looks are also pretty decent minimal looking ac i would say and almost has like every feature that you would look for on an ac in In this particular model only thing is it's a three star rated ac now me personally i haven't used a three star rated ac till now guys i had like all five star rated acs in only in my other rooms so this time i wanted to see like what sort of difference you will get on the three star rated ac so main difference is energy efficiency and power bills only so that i'll keep you guys posted in the description box i'll have to use this ac for like one month now then only i'll get like my next power bill and that time i'll let you know like what sort of power bill you can expect on a three star rated and i'll also compare it to like a five star rated ac also and let you know all the differences in the description box below so make sure to keep following this particular video and that's it talking about the price so this particular model costs around like 33500 rupees or something i'll leave the exact pricing details in the link below in the description box below you can check it out there so what do you people think share your thoughts and make sure to like and subscribe to this video and i'll see you all in my next one